This tutorial is about printing. When students print here at Garden Spot High School and Middle School, the print jobs are sent to a server rather than being sent to a specific printer. So I'm going to show you an example of how I print out a Word document and how I print it off at the printer station. So right now I have my Microsoft Word document that's about student internet history reports for parents and I want to print that off at a student print station here in the building. When I go up to file and I choose print you'll see the printer listed here as student printers on Corniche. Now mine's listed as a teacher printer but yours will say student printer. When I select the print button it's going to send it not to a specific printer but into the query that is located on the server. Next I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's time to go pick that up. But let's say I make a change first and realized it after I had already printed. Well that's okay because it didn't print yet I can actually make my change, go to file, print again, and select print. Now there's going to be two jobs that have been sent to the printer under my username. So let's go look at a printer and see what it looks like. Okay, here I am at the printer ready to pr pick up my print job. Here's the touch screen. And when I click on the touch screen, you will see that it's asking for my ID number. Here's where students will enter their student ID number. It's a nine character that usually starts with your graduation year. So when you click on the box, you see it gives me the ability to enter my ID number. So I type it in on the touchpad. I'm not going to show you my number, and you shouldn't show any other students your number. And I'm going to hit the OK button. OK, that logs me in, and notice I have two jobs waiting there to be printed. If I want to print both, I can just click, click on the Print All button. I want to delete the first one, so I highlight it and click on Cancel Job. But I want to print the second one, so I can highlight it and click on Print Job, or I can just click Print All. Notice it logs me out of the system right away. And if we look at the printer, Here it comes. There's the paper that I printed out. I can see that I'm logged off the computer, so I'm in good shape. Now, after I click print, that print job will be stored for 48 hours. So I can go and pick up my print job off the printer at any time over the next two days, and it will be there. So it makes it nice that you don't have to go and pick it up right away. You can pick it up at your convenience anytime you're walking by a printer. Okay, thanks for watching again. See you later.